Welcome back to Elden Ring, beautiful people. In this episode, uh, I came back to the round table hold. I tried finding a couple of the, what you call it, bosses, the jail bosses. I managed to beat one of them, so I have a little bit of soul power. Oh no, I already used it. Yeah, yeah, I put it into dexterity. However, I came back to the round table hold, uh, and this door is now open, and inside this door is whatever the shit this thing is. <laughs> is. Is that the two fingers? It's the two fingers. Whoa. Rapture, okay. Yeah, by the way, I got some badass gestures, so let me just take a look. Yeah, we got... Uh, where the fuck is it? Yeah, we got this one, which is the dueling bow. Uh, very cool. And where is the other one? Rapture. Let's see it. Holy shit, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I do like the gestures, although nothing is gonna ever come close to... How did it go? Like, something like this from Dark Souls 2. Uh, I'll talk to her as well. There's one more thing I want to do. If there is one gesture that's essential when you're playing one of these games, it's this one. Point down. You guys know, whether it's an NPC, whether it's an actual invader, you gotta point down. God, these things are so creepy. They look like the aliens from Bloodborne. She's the one. This game is on drugs, I swear to you. This is an NPC. Interesting. Uh, so, well, let's just finish her dialogue. She has gross feet, by the way. Cool. 
Cool. Uh, I was going to say, so as I interpret it, lore master video coming up. So the greater will is, I guess, the god of this land. And this two fingers is sort of the envoy. But, you know, as usual souls fashion goes, go. But, you know, as usual souls fashion goes, you can never trust anyone fully. This sword looks so cool. I'm definitely keeping it. Okay. It's a bit of a dick thing. The runt. So I'm guessing that means the other ones are gonna be way more powerful. The power of remembrance menu. You can draw up, uh, draw out the power of a remembrance namesake. Each remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, the remembrance will be lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so this is how you get boss weapons. So what is this Axe of Godric strength weapon? Because I'm going to look at these, but if these are kind of shitty, I'm just going to use it. Because I think you can get like, like 30,000 runes from it. Just quite a bit. And the Grafted Dragon. Uh, the embodiment of the power that still remains in the dragon's head that was grafted to Godric's left arm. The wielder's arm will take the form of a small dragon. Sprouting shard dragon <laughs> fangs at the fist. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, it's a faith weapon. Uh, yeah, I don't like either of these. Um, okay, she just says the same thing. So, this might be a dick thing. Not, not a dick thing, but stupid to do, but... Twenty thousand, yeah, that's worth it. I'm I'm happy with that. It's just neither of these weapons um, were were sort of appealing to me. I guess the dragon thing is kind of cool. People told me everybody is telling me in the comments to get more vitality, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm assuming we're gonna need it. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention that I also upgraded my weapon once more. So there's that. Yeah, I think we can get going. There's one more thing I wanted to show here in the Weeping Peninsula. I found this sort of like abandoned merchant's shack. Uh, and he's the one that sells this, which people have been telling me to get. And he also sells stone sword keys. So I just wanted to show this that this is where I got the lantern. I don't know how to activate it yet. Um, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Just wanted to show that. Uh, I think the time has come to move, to actually move the story forward. Because it's been a long while since we've progressed along the main path. Uh, let's do that for a little bit. And yeah, we can branch out and all that. I'm still sort of figuring out um, how exactly I'm going to sort of... I wouldn't say condense this playthrough because it's not like I want to rush through this playthrough but I'm also conscious of the fact that not everything is like the most interesting thing you can do in this game I there's a lot of these filler dungeons and all that so I'm conscious of how much I'm going to show is that binging with Babish That's definitely babish. Small donation. I'd be happy to share my knowledge. 
I don't trust you. Ten runes? Hell yeah! Is this a pyramid scream? Pyramid scheme, I wanted to say. That didn't land exactly. Uh, what does he have? Shitty sorceries. Create starlight to illuminate surroundings. I, I already have glintstone pebble. This, this is kind of interesting. Glintstone arc. Let's get it. Will you, I think I'll be able to get to at least 13 intelligence. I'm shooting for 15, so... Yeah, we'll be able to use it. Ah, oh, come on. Screw you, chinchilla. See, now that place... It's definitely that thing from the painting. Like that painting we need to go to. This one. That one very much looks like... Well, maybe not, actually. There could be several locations. Anyways, let's progress into the continent here. Shooting for a map, if possible. Warm... Whoa, okay. Bruh, I, sh I should have seen that coming from a mile away. I was gonna say, hey, look at that. Hanging skeletons and... Uh-oh. This is not good. These guys take, like, no damage. They have poise as well. It's all good. We got this. A backstab always solves things. Did I just decapitate it? Okay, it's a skelly, so... Be conscious to actually kill it. That was a massacre. Hopefully that's not like an indication of how difficult the enemies are in this area, like in general. Uh, because then we will be sort of kind of screwed because those dudes were definitely out of my league. By just a hair. Anyways, this place is cool. Question is, is that where we descend? Because I don't really see any other path. Oh, hey there. Who are you? Oh, are you blind as well? And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? God, everybody wants something. I think I do have Shabriri grapes. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. That thing looks so cool. To my true duty is a finger maiden. Ooh. Can we actually get a waifu eventually? Well, we do have a waifu, but you know. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fish <laughs> be upon you. Okay, cool. Uh, see, now the thing is... I swear I saw platforms. Like an outcropping of platforms. Just where the hell is that? There it is. Let me just take a quick look around the whole, whole thing here. Don't wanna, don't wanna rush into anything. Okay, so I'm just going along this like side path here along the cliffs. It's pretty interesting. I'm just seeing if it's gonna lead to any treasure because this to me hella looks like treasure path. Like. It just has that feeling, you know. Sorry, dear. Beast liver. Nice. Shit sounds tasty. But this is not Breath of the Wild, so, you know. 
no cooking going around. Hold on, this leads back to... Interesting. Oh, fuck. You can skip the castle. That's... Th this is the bridge, you know. Like, I, I didn't end up going to the edge of this bridge. Or, like, I didn't dare to jump off or something. Cool. Okay, well, this is going to be very useful on subsequent playthroughs. Uh, you can actually skip Stormvale Castle. I didn't think that was possible, but that's pretty cool. That is, again, very useful because if I'm playing an ultimate guide and I, for example, like want my main weapon or some spell, which is in this area, it's very, very convenient. Cool. I do, I do really love shit like that. Uh, having this type of freedom is exactly why I really like Souls games and the design of Souls games. No other, like I gotta say, like no other Souls-like really manages to do this quite as well as FromSoft. You know, they're sort of like the OGs. Okay. This might not be a good idea to do on the horse. Did I just screw my... No, no, I did not. There's no way I can make that, right? Fucking hell. Interestingly, okay, so you got you do got to jump in order to have access to the double jump. All right. Bad guys. Yeah, bad guys. Gonna stick with the hit and run tactics. Works quite well. Alright, it looks like... So this is more of like a manageable... Sort of... Group of enemies. Those skellies really had me worried for a second that... We're not meant to come here just yet, but it looks like this is perfectly fine. Uh, use your s fucking sorceries as well. Sketch. Like, why did you pick up that shit if you're not going to use it? Okay. These guys tend to be very easy. And they stun easily. See? Told you. And they do give quite a lot of runes, too. And this one is a little bit more powerful than... Than the one in the ones in Storm Hill, but just by a little bit. I could just bleed him and he'll go down quick, but eh, this works. Oh, is this one of those ones that is drawing a carriage? People told me that uh, these carriages. There's one in Storm Hill as well. They usually carry treasure, so let's just take a look. Fuck yeah. Tree spear, nice. I mean, potentially for s selling. Uh, what is this? Yeah, it's a Dex Faith weapon. Deals holy damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of making mental notes. I'm gonna forget all of this shit, but it looks like there's quite a few good Faith weapons in this game. Uh, sort of interesting ones. So I wanted to say, uh, one thing I noticed which I didn't talk about. The fucking weapon buff lasts for an insane amount of time in this game. Uh, like, truly insane. It's it's very strong. Like, it's noticeably longer lasting than in other Souls games. Which I'm completely okay with. Believe me, it's not a complaint. It definitely, you know, puts less stress on you. Um... Because you can just kind of chill, you know. Oh! I didn't know this was shown on the map. 
but that is very useful information. Uh, I'm gonna try beelining it over there. Let me just sort of work out a path. So we can go down here, sort of along the main... What the shit is that? Sort of along the main route. These skellies. Damn. I'm getting like rapid fired on. There are some like goofy ass enemies in this game. Luckily that doesn't actually count as a normal skeleton. I mean... I have to try it. Ooh, I do like that. And having my shit equipped doesn't even make me fat roll. That's very, very convenient, isn't it? Nice! Room plus sixes give quite a bit too, don't they? I have ranged as well now, bitch. This guy's a mad goofy. Very easy though. He just shot the ground like an idiot. Ooh. Do like me some armor. Fuck. Whoa! Bruh! That was... Shit, okay. Well, they go down hard, but they hit hard. Lesson learned. Maybe a hit and run style tactic is... This is unbelievable. What? They killed me or... Fucking hell. There was actually quite a bit of runes there too. Jesus. That's kind of insane damage. But just this group, like the first group goes down like an absolute, like, bunch of weaklings. So I don't know, man. Like, why is there such a difference between these, t like, three and these three? Thank you, game. Fuck. Jesus thinks deal a lot of damage in this area. Unbelievable. Okay, we gotta be real careful because apparently dogs are more dangerous than ever. Kukuglin stone. Some magic shit. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, motherfuckers with torches as well. I'm gonna hate this place, aren't I? Yeah, the dog thing is... I don't know what the poise system of this game is. Uh, I haven't really explored armor. Nothing I had seemed to have any sort of poise. But man, it would be nice to have some. I'm assuming it kind of goes the Dark Souls 3 route. But I don't know. Poise is pretty good in Dark Souls 3. It works at least, which sometimes cannot be said for all the Souls games. Uh, but it does work. Listen. Might be getting myself into quite a bit of trouble here. Is this... Okay, it doesn't kill you. It's not a bottomless lake. But like I said, I'm just gonna beeline it towards the, the map. Once we have the map, I can sort of start pointing out... points of interest or areas of interest and then we can start exploring. This place does look pretty good. Oh, hey merchant. We're gonna return to you in just a 
bit. I just need to do some horse platforming. No, we're gonna wait because there is a side of grace here. Side of grace is always worth stopping for. Fuck it, we might as well talk to the merchant. Does he have a little... Is that a butt scratcher? That is definitely a butt scratcher. Yeah, I think you're... What the hell? I already have one. Nomadic warrior's cookbook, astrologer's hood, astrologer's robe. That hood looks pretty cool. We're purchasing it. Kite shield classic. Oh, nice, a new staff, which needs 60. You might go to 16 and you know what? That sounds pretty good. Oh, please tell me this matches. Please tell me this matches. That would be... Sort of... Oh, come on. <laughs> that's the... That's the line that separates... Okay, I think I can survive without my fucking rope for a little bit. Not rope, my bow and arrow. I know it would be smarter to... Fucking hell. This is truly the Skyrim horse. I know it would be smarter to have your bow and arrow than a fucking hood. But... Listen. Fashion comes first. Fashion souls before all. Screw practicality. I don't think it's possible to. Unless... Oh, God. This is not as easy to control as it looks. I, you definitely can get up there. It's just a bit of a bitch. Actually, maybe you just need to look around and find the way more convenient path. Because... Yeah. Just ignore me. Oh fuck, it's down there. Ah, god damn it. Like at least pay attention, Mr. Sketchhead. Whatever, whatever, let's just get down there and we'll get back to this ever jail. What the hell? Enemies deal a lot of damage in this area. I'm just gonna say that. Still, we know where to go. And we have a side of grace, so... No biggie. No biggie. Okay, maybe a more tactical approach is warranted here. Uh, we do have stealth, and we do not have stealth, because these guys are... Okay, they don't have a lot of HP. They do have annoying attacks. Fuck you. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for safety and pick up my shit. Last thing I want is a potential disaster. <laughs> Man, that's annoying. Just give me the map. Map Lear near East. Don't think you're getting away from me. Okay. We have the map. Uh, holy shit, this is a big area. Malefactor's Everjail. That's something I sort of want to take a look at. Whoa, okay. I didn't think it like sort of expanded that far up. Well, that's cool. Interestingly, it doesn't... There are not too many sort of obvious points of interest jumping out at me, except the Everjail... Maybe that place. We're gonna definitely take a look at the the Everjail. That's for sure. I mean, I'm like 90% probably screwing myself. 
trying to do this because the previous one in Storm Hills is already very difficult and this is in a further area, although it doesn't always seem to work like that. Uh, whatever. It's a fat guy. Oh, it's a pyromancer. <laughs> Do I de detect a little bit of spam? Uh, bruh, it was never possible to cast pyromancers that quickly in any Souls game. This guy is cheating, except for the NPCs, because... You guys know that NPCs are motherfuckers in every Souls game. Uh, Bloodborne, I'm looking specifically at you, uh, where they just cheat at the wazoo and basically don't abide or abide by the rules of the game but whatever okay so I'm gonna try being a little bit more careful here I think the jump attacks are gonna be the, the sort of way to go and whenever it does that it's just get the hell out of dodge because that leaves like I realize what happened is that it that real like leaves a trail of fire, and if you step into that, it deals a lot of damage. I'm assuming you really don't want to get hit by that. Fucking unbelievable that a boss has an Astus flask. Oh, though, listen, stranger things have happened. Yeah, bitch, you don't have your flask now, do you? I know I have my dagger, too. That's the rock. Only thing I hate about this weapon setup is how similar the staff and my... Miserant, or whatever this other weapon is called. It looks so similar in the menu. Sometimes I don't know which one each shit bitch. I sort of don't know which one uh, I have equipped. Listen, I'm not taking any risks. Oh, that tracking though. Get the hell out. on. One more hit should do it. Eat shit, bitch. That was sort of a little bit annoying, uh, not gonna lie. Flame of the Fell God. I sort of was expecting something like that. It's probably a good spell. I think, as if I saw correctly, uh, pyromancies are now faith sort of weapons. Not weapons, but spells. Let me just check. Yeah, they they count as incantations, which are... See, they need 41. Holy shit. It's legendary incantation, one of several that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. Release a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. The fireball floats towards enemies and explodes, setting the area ablaze. Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, had kept this incantation a well-kept secret until it was stolen by Adan. Interesting. Cool. Well, that was a fun adventure. And I think it's a good sort of cap off to our journey into the Lyrnia of the Lake area. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll go back and sort of, again, mark the points of interest. So how the hell do you get over there? Probably something like taking an, uh, taking an underground cave. That's all I can think of. Uh, yeah, I'll mark the areas and then we can start exploring in the next episode. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications as usual. 
and I will catch all of you later. Take care and peace out.